it's a broadcast. It's Comic Experience Sci-Fi, and we're going to talk about stuff on Netflix. Uh, my choice right now, if you got to watch anything, you need to watch Troll Hunters. Troll Hunters is written and directed by Guillermo del Toro. It is animated, and it is pure, unadulterated joy. Does this have anything to do with the uh, movie that came out a few years ago? You know, it really doesn't. This is completely independent and written from the ground up by Guillermo del Toro. Um, uh, directed and produced, and it's 26 episodes, and they're all out at once, so you can binge it if you want. <laughs> but Del Toro doesn't really do bad things, so I'm yeah, and assuming he did the this. Strain. How would you compare it with the Strain? Different audience, but still in the. I think of it almost like a. Um, it, it's more uh, Hellboyish. Right. Oh, so Strain, I think, was more fantasy oriented yes, than, exactly. than horror. Yes, as I was going to say, there is, it is not. It is not scary troll stuff mm -hmm. it's it's a kid he's coming into his own he has no idea what's going on do you think it's they're trying to get the same audience that netflix got with stranger things you know that's exactly right if if stranger things i think is directed towards tweens to teens it's it's like 12 to 20. um this is actually i think in the if it was written in a book it would be a young adult novel, but I like young adult novels, which is why I'm enjoying it. Um, that's the kind of character space we're talking about, the kids in that age group, uh, uh, middle school to high school. Now, does, does, is Del Toro using a lot of the same cast that he uses in a lot of his other productions? Uh, well, Kelsey Grammer is his troll mentor. Uh, Ron Perlman plays Bular, the, uh, the bad guy. He's sort of like his De Niro to Scorsese. For right, him. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Anton Yeltsin actually plays the star, Jimmy Lake. I don't know what they're going to do for next I season. Also, yeah, if you say saying Anton Yeltsin, so yeah. does he use his accent in the... No, no. You, no. I didn't, oh. uh, if, He's if, got an American accent. Yeah. So they'll probably just get someone to replace him, just like the Spartacus show did with Spartacus, right. you know. Right. It's only the first season. and Yes. Yeah. So. Right, right. Yeah, but it's 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 a buddy movie. Um, it's if you know. It. And in thirty minutes. Or yeah, they're hour. about 30, 40 minutes. And how many? And you said and 20, 20, 20, there's twenty six episodes. Twenty six episodes. Yeah. Thirteen hours of yeah. complete joy, huh? I have not been disappointed yet, and the episodes are written so that some of them are cliffhangers. So it's like cliffhanger, cliffhanger, conclusion, cliffhanger, cliffhanger, conclusion. So you want to, I've been watching them three episodes or four episodes at a time. It is, it is seamless. It is Pixar quality animation. Uh -huh. And it's really beautiful. It's, it's almost like, um, it's almost like a video game. And people who had already seen it were tweeting about it like crazy. Um, everybody's loving it. That's how I got to watch Stranger Things by people talking about it, you know, because I'm not yeah. one of these people who just likes to go into something, you know, before right. anyone else does. I have to hear some good word about about something right. for me to spend my right. time, invest yeah. my time into it. Yeah. You know? I think the rest of us need to give uh, Shannon a call, get some beers, and have a party. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's got a big screen? I think you need to stop and take some time and find a friend with Netflix and watch yourself some Troll Hunters, you won't regret it.